regardless of what you think today, no matter what you try and say, Sonic the Hedgehog was a huge success when it came out in 1991. Now this is interesting because we can clearly see nowadays that Sonic is much more popular and marketable in the UK or in the States than in Japan. However, the first game sold very well in Japan and helped cement the Genesis as one of the most important gaming consoles in history. In typical Sega fashion, right off the bat they realize, if we slap Sonic on it, it'll sell. So, to coincide with the release of the first game, Sega produced some plush prizes that could be won from their UFO catcher machines. The set is rare, but not too rare. I can usually find everyone from the set for just about 30 bucks. Except one. Stringy Sonic. A plush set was made to promote the release of Sonic the Hedgehog, and anyone could win these plush prizes from the Japanese UFO catcher machines. Included in this set was a Flicky, a Rabbit, and a Penguin, which are the animals Sonic rescues when he bounces on an enemy in the game. Also included in this set was a super simplistic and cute looking plush of Dr. Robotnik and a very simplistic and cute looking Sonic. However, this only lasted a year. The set was re-released in 1991 or early 1992 and stayed in UFO machines until 1993. The set was the exact same as before except this time there was a new plush of Sonic. Gone were his string arms and legs and simplified look, now it was a full-on Sonic plush. With a really stupid looking giant mouth. So what happened to the first edition Sonic plush? Well, he's harder to find now. Fans have dubbed him the Stringy Sonic seeing how his arms and legs are just simple string or yarn. A rope? I don't know. Either way, he has little noodle arms. No one really talks about this plush, which is a shame because it's one of the first Sonic plushes ever created. Not the first, but I believe he was one of the first to actually be available to the public, I guess. Sonic stands around 6 to 7 inches tall, he's pretty small. Bear in mind because this is one of the first Sonic plushes, the creators of the plush line probably didn't have a lot to work with in terms of design. What would his spikes look like, his shoes, his face and nose? Sonic was strictly a two-dimensional design. At this point, no one even drew what he'd look like in 3D. So I have to give major props to the designers of this plush. This plush is basically two stuffed balls and a ton of felt. Sonic's head and body are stuffed really well, and his stomach area kind of goes into his mouth area, which, if we look at the tag, is accurate to the art at the time. His nose is just a tiny black pom-pom glued on, and he has this really cute tiny smile located in the center of his mouth area. Sonic's eyes have a unique design as well. Not a single plush has ever done something like this again. His eyes actually go over his mouth, instead of his mouth going over his eyes. The eyes themselves are made of a thick piece of felt simply glued on. Same with the ears, and even the spikes. The quality of the felt is really nice though, his spikes don't just flop, they are sturdy and you can even move them in different positions if you'd like to, but normally his spikes will stick uh, to the sides. As mentioned before, Sonic's arms and legs are a yarn or string type of material which looks a little cheap but at the same time makes the plush look so unique and adorable. His shoes are lacking the white stripe that goes around them but his hands have five fingers each and are very well cut out. I do have this plush with his tag and touch tag both in a very good condition. However, the tag seems to have faded just a bit over the years. We can see the licensing info and the dates easily on here. Being one of the earliest Sonic plushes available, on top of only being able to be won as a prize, on top of being completely unique in design, this is a Sonic plush I'm sure any Sonic collector would like to have. But how rare is he, and what's his worth? Well, seeing as how the plush line stayed around for three years, but this particular plush of Sonic only stayed around for about a year, He's obviously going to be harder to find, but don't let your hopes down. These guys pop up on eBay from time to time, and you just gotta do a bit of searching to find them. I think I've seen at least one pop up every year. The prices vary, but I've seen this little guy run for $65 to $80. I haven't seen him go any higher than $80. Me personally, I picked this guy up for $65 bucks years and years ago, probably around the time Sonic 4 was coming out. This plush means a lot to me because it was the exact item that got me to say, you know what, I'm a collector. I've received Sonic items before, and even bought a few from toy stores, but this was my very first retro and rare item in my collection. It holds a sentimental meaning to me, because I was young at the time, so to pay for it I had to do a bunch of chores and save up my allowance money, checking eBay every day to make sure someone didn't buy him. I'm gonna tell you right now, it was a long month of working, but I got my allowance, I busted open my piggy bank, searched the house for spare change, and had just enough to afford him. 
This plush to me does not define the era it came from or define what a classic Sonic plush line looked like. To me, it defined my collection, and more importantly, defined my passion.